The demand for PPE or personal protective equipment is not high everywhere we're talking about, and that is why a local group of students from three different schools decided to jump into action. WCNC Charlotte's Michelle Bowden spoke to some of those students about the huge impact they're making in our communities. Talk about using what you learn in class in the real world. This is probably the ultimate example. Students here at Charlotte Latin teaming up with students from Providence Day School and UNCC using 3D printers to make masks that healthcare workers are soon going to be able to use. Charlotte Latin student Katie Chai has been taking engineering classes and learning about 3D printing since the seventh grade. But two weeks ago, a conversation with her parents, both Charlotte doctors working in area hospitals, prompted an idea. A lot of the stuff they were saying was, it, it, was, it kind of scared me actually. I'd probably work without medical supplies since the hospitals are all lacking it. And that just really scared me. And that helped, I think, develop the project. The project, she and classmates at Charlotte Latin are now using 3D printers to help make shields for healthcare workers. They've teamed up with students at Providence Day School as well. This is what the design actually looks like. And What's really cool about it is, the, so the white pieces are what we're actually 3D printing um, at the school right now. Um, the face shield, this face shield came from uh, Charlotte Latin. Todd Johnson teaches the engineering classes at Providence Day and says this is one of the most rewarding things he's ever done with his students. It's been pretty remarkable just to see their reaction to it, for them to actually see the real life application of that, them being able to see that real time um, has just been has just been really awesome. The schools are working on mass production with a local facility where they're hoping to produce 2000 face shields a day. I think it's really cool because it's one of these rare opportunities to see, I guess, the prototyping and then seeing it come to action and actually affect your community, which is something that I don't think many high school students get to experience. Volunteers are actually helping to assemble the face shields, and some of them have already been delivered to area hospitals. More are on the way. Reporting in Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, WCNC Charlotte.